Hey everybody, I am Erica Carlson with Bricks Real Estate. Thank you again for joining me. We're talking about using the right tools when we're ready to get serious about our home search. I do not want to throw any shame at any particular real estate website. There is a purpose and they are fantastic for when you are in what I call the tire kicking phase, which just means you're in dream stage. You're not sure what you're shopping for. I don't know if I want to move to New Mexico, California, Florida, Minnesota, whatever. Maybe it's like big like that. Maybe it is it is hyper local and you don't know whether you want a townhouse, a condo house. Like I love using those types of websites for that type of information. But when you are getting to the point that you want to push the button and recommend a tour, not only have we talked about you need to be pre-approved before you're looking at houses, that's number one, because what's your budget and how did you come to the conclusion of that budget? Not trying to be condescending, just trying to be factual. <clears throat> we also want you using the right tools. So I'm not going to name the name of the big one, but we all know what it is. And I've learned from advertising in that space that the information isn't always very accurate. So you, there's a button you can push to get a tour. And then I open it up on the MLS. Let me pause there. That's the multiple listing service. It's the main database that real estate agents use all over the country, but there's various databases. Okay, there isn't one MLS, but I'm digressing. Excuse me, I'm losing my, my uh, throat here. We check there and we can tell you if there's any contingencies or whether it's impending. So some of these really big websites purposely don't share that information with you because they know you'll click the button, connect with the salesperson and get the process started. It's brilliant. It's a great idea for them, not for you. You're serious about purchasing a house and now that person on the other side of the phone goes, that one's not available. That hasn't been available for weeks, but you wouldn't know that. You can't see that because your tool isn't strong enough to see that. Um, so that's when it's time. Even if you think I'm months away, weeks away, there's no shame. It does not cost you money. It does not change anything to ask a realtor to set up an actual search for you on the MLS. You don't have to buy a house just because you're getting houses set to you. And we have um, just as many capabilities, if not more than these websites to set up exactly what you want. We can tweak it along the way if you change your perimeter in any sort of way we can change it with you and I think even my tool now is like letting people set up their own searches that I don't know about I don't know what they're doing and I sometimes have to ask so putting that aside that is the premier um, tool and that you do not have access to as a general consumer that is a part of what I'm paying for to be a licensed real estate agent is to get access to that database the database is everything for us. That's where we are obligated to put all of our listings. And that is where we see where all the other ones are in the area. And so um, do not shy away from asking for access to that. I think people don't because they don't know it exists. They just think those third-party websites exist. All the information from the MLS is being dispersed out to these websites. So you're not going to find something with the exception of a for sale by owner or something like off market like that, that I can't find for you. So nine times out of 10, the house somebody's looking at, I can see it on my side too. That, you know, again, there's exceptions to all these rules. Um, it, and I felt like I had one more thing I wanted to tell you, but I guess the bottom line is that you're spending time looking at the wrong houses. If you are serious enough to start shopping for a house, then you are ready to have a real estate agent set you up on a proper home search. And then you shouldn't have to feel goofy or weird about asking for that at any time. Um, I know what it was. The last thing I want to say is some of those websites have some tools um, that I'm not sure mine traditionally does. Like it might have something about school districts or crime rates or, um, you know, there might be there might be something like that that like I can't always give people without those sites. So I think it's about using them in conjunction. You may find something on there that you think is absolutely terrific and you would love to continue to use, but maybe you use the MLS as like your main um, program and then like kind of use those other ones to kind of offshoot it. Um, 
And then the last thing I was going to say is if you're finding things your agent isn't sending you, it's because you told your agent a different requirement. So for example, I'll have someone tell me I have to have a four bedroom and then they're on one of those programs looking at three bedrooms. Of course, I didn't send it to you. I didn't know that you dropped it to three bedrooms. So it's just about communication. Um, happy to set you up on one of those searches. Uh, no cost, no obligation. Love to hear from you. Thanks.